Back again, another episode of Chaotic Cooking. I was feeling Taco Bell today. I didn't want to go back on my diet because I hear the comments like, you guys keep calling me fat. It's not nice, you know, like, stop. It's not nice. Anyways, I was feeling Taco Bell, so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make, um, I'm going to make a Crunchwrap Supreme and bring Taco Bell to me. So, easy recipe. Shouldn't take that long. What you need, actually we'll go over that later. So, get yourself a tortilla. Cut it in half. This is going to be the main function of this little hexagon. I, I think that's the shape. But anyways, cheese, tomatoes, cond like dressing, condiments, whatever you want. Tomatoes, lettuce would be good. I don't have lettuce in here, so I can't do that. Sour cream, butter, your meat, of course. Um, oh, taco seasoning. Yes, 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 yes. Somewhere in there, taco seasoning. You're going to need that to season the meat. And then you're going to make your own cheese sauce at home because I'm not going to buy a cheese sauce when I can make it. I can show you guys how to make it as well. So you're going to need, not this, you're going to need this, table cream, butter, and cheese. And we're going to make that little puree on the stove for you guys, don't worry. So now, first step you want to do, get your pan ready, get your base and whatever you need, get this ready. We're going to heat this up, put a little bit of oil in there, put the meat. And then we're going to take the meat, we're going to put a little bit like a tablespoon and a half. Actually, no, we're going to put like three tablespoons of water in there. Mix that up, add the taco season, mix it up, cook it through. Oh, yeah. okay. All right, as you can see, we got the meat going. The meat is good. Instead of three tablespoons, I'm sorry, guys. Don't add that much water. As you can see, I added way too much water. Add about like a tablespoon and a half. We got the pan going on this. This is going to be where we're going to be making our ingredients. Is it hot? Is it hot? not hot quick little trick to make sure if the stove is ready put your pan put it right on the burner if you get hurt that means it's ready quick little trick but um now we're gonna make the sauce quickly we're gonna get about do this at your own discretion for how many servings you want to make we're gonna add about This much of butter. How much are there is? You guys guess. Figure out on your own. Did I put the right burger on? Oh, I did. We're gonna add that much. I wanna make for later as well. So I'm gonna add that much butter. We're gonna let that butter brown, melt, whatever you wanna call it. And then the next ingredients of this, as you will see, we're gonna be adding the nice little heavy cream. Add as your, uh, your discretion, depending on your server, we're gonna break down the cheese. The cheese is the last step. Don't jump the gun, the cheese is the last step. And then we're gonna add, we're gonna wait for this to brown a little bit. Come, come get a little view, come get a little action shot. Here, let me turn on a little light for you. Let's see, that's gonna help. Oh, there it is, there it is, folks. See how that's turning? Yeah, it's getting nice and sexual in this kitchen. You guys can't see right now on my camera, it has a boner. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's getting good. A few more seconds, and then we're gonna add, uh, I wanna say, do that your discretion, I mean this like all jokes aside, don't put a lot of cream in the f up. Add about a little bit. We'll say about a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half for me. Measure this out, this step, this process. Oh, brand new. Measure it out. I can eyeball it. I went to school for this. I do this every day. I'm, I make a living off of this, so I don't need to put it in the measuring jar. You need to, you're a rookie. Pay attention. But yeah, you see? When your oil gets nice and hot like that, put it in. About this amount. I'm gonna let that cook through for a little bit. I'm gonna let that cook through for a little bit. All right, so we got everything prepped and good. We got the beef ready to go. Boom, right there. We got the cheese sauce, my homemade recipe cheese sauce. I bet you didn't know I can do that. Cheese sauce ready, pan ready. Don't wash the pan. You wanna keep all the ingredients, all the flavor in that pan. Mask it from when you're assembling your crunch wrap. Now, one of the final steps to a crunch wrap, you're gonna cut a little bit of a hole in the middle. You need two of this, sorry. I know, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm sorry. You need two of this because one is going to be crunchy. That you're going to put in the air fryer right now. Boom, right there. Um, 
If you have the spray, ideally, that's best, don't have the spray. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there to get it a little nice and crispy. Boom, mix that around, move it around, spread it around. Massage the, come, come, come. Show them, show them this is a technique. Massaging, it's all about massaging. You wanna really get it in there. Get it, get it in there. Massage, throw that in the air fryer. Boom, you can fry it on the stove, but I like the air fryer because I'm a little bit healthy now. This is not even on. This is not even on. Um, that's what chaotic yeah, cooking's all about, folks. We figure it out as soon as we go. So we're gonna put this in for about 10 minutes, get it crunchy. If it's burnt, even better. We want it really crunchy because that's gonna be the base of the thing. Always, never forget, wash your hands, folks. Be sanitary, be hygienic. Don't be nasty. And then we're gonna let this cook in the air fryer. We're gonna cut another circle out for the other layer, the soft layer to help formulate the shape. We got everything ready, good enough for you guys. You wanna to add to this ingredient, cut up some tomatoes, cut up some onions, treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. I don't like tomatoes and I'm lazy and I'm hungry because I can't eat it till 5 p.m. and I'm only eating one meal a day. Enough about my life story, whatever, I'm hungry and I'm cranky, so I'm not doing all of that. We're gonna put just the meat, sour cream, hot sauce, queso cheese dip, that's my dressing. You guys can do whatever you want, but that's my dressing. I'm gonna tie back in when this bad boy's done. Boom. Flipped it, got it on the pan. Crunch wrap is cooking. Everything's going good right now. The shape is a little bit weird. It's not that nice and a little octagon shape. You might get a Taco Bell, but it's homemade, so bear with me. And it's healthier too. You guys, that's why you guys should follow my recipe. Some of these are a little bit healthy for you guys. You can substitute the sour cream for low fat Greek yogurt to save on your cows. But yeah, we're gonna let this cook through and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product in a bit. All right, so the pan is biting back at us right now. Sometimes the oil bites back at you, but don't be scared. You just gotta attack it with confidence and we're gonna get a nice little flip. Attack it with confidence, grip the back for some extra support. Oh. gonna hold it together for a little bit i'm just gonna hold it together for a little bit it comes apart guys but don't be scared don't let that intimidate you it's still gonna taste good and then well i played it i'm gonna flip it the other way so you guys might not even see the other side and if i wasn't so real with you i would edit this out and not let you guys even show the struggles in the kitchen but this is not for the people that know how to cook it is people that want to learn how to cook so i'm going to take you guys through my trials and tribulations throughout this process of me learning how to cook and try different recipes and f it up so you guys don't have to. Oh my God, that was inspirational. That was inspirational right there. I felt like a motivational speaker. I felt like I had my life figured out when I said that. But yeah, we're gonna flip this, we're gonna plate it, we're gonna cut it, and we're gonna try it. Chaotic cooking, crunch wrap supreme, bringing Taco Bell to your home. I'm your host, sexiest man alive. Rico Wednesday. Guys, <laughs> we have a little trouble in the kitchen. Don't cook it like how I cooked it. I was talking, I was enjoying the conversation. And I might have messed, I up. I'm, I'm gonna be honest guys, I up, okay? I up. But we're gonna cut into this. It looks good, like, you know? It's not about, it's not about what's on the outside guys, it's about what's on the inside. And you know? We're just gonna cut this in. It's a little hot. Bear with me while I cut this. Remember, I live in a BP, okay? So, I don't got the best utensils, the best knives, but I'm trying. And God damn it, you gotta let me try. Oh my God. Hard to cut. But honestly, let's let's get a zoom in action on the on the on the inside, right? Look at the inside. Forget the the burnt tortilla. Look at the inside. Come get me. Forget the burnt tortilla. Look at the inside. Not about what's on the outside. This is a life lesson. Actually, this is perfect. This is a life lesson for you guys. When you chase ugly, you're gonna get ugly. The outside is ugly. You guys focus too much on the outside exterior of lives. Uh, you know various factors and that's why you get ugly. But look sometimes the most beautiful exterior has the best. No 
Ricardo. I'm sorry. On this life journey, you see, I'm human too. I mess up. I'm human too. But sometimes in the most beautiful exterior, I said it again, didn't I? Sometimes on the most ugly exterior, you got a beautiful interior. And look at that. Um, amazing. We're going to let this settle down for a little bit, and then we're going to try it for you guys. Chaotic cooking, baby. All right, so we're ending off chaotic cooking, crunch wrap, as you can see. Messed up a little bit. We let it settle. And let me bite into this, you know? Look. It's not that bad. Sweetie. It's just a little burnt, but you know that adds a little flavor, a little charcoal, smoky flavor to the meat, but everything inside honestly tastes really good. I'm getting hints of the cheese now. I'm getting hints of the um, sour cream. Flavors are coming good, but yeah. Another episode of Chaotic Cooking in the can, wrapping it us up. We're pumping out content, baby. We're getting this thing going. Chaotic Cooking, bringing Taco Bell to your crib. Crunch Wrap Supreme. That's it. And...